friends! I'm Sarah from Ensign Insights and I'm really excited about this video today. This is something I have not done before, but one of my subscribers asked if I could show them how I would letter inside a heart. So that is what I'm doing here. I letter inside silhouettes and shapes all the time. That's kind of my favorite thing to do, but I've never just sat down turned on the camera and recorded my thoughts as I'm going through a piece. So that's what you're going to see here. I did try to speed it up in between where I was talking so you'll see it kind of going a little bit faster but it does go through the whole process which takes a little while. I hope you enjoy it. So this is the watercolor piece that I want. So first I'm going to draw a heart. And I want it to be kind of flat because I know that my words are going to fit easier this way than if it's really tall and skinny. Okay, so because I know I'm going to be erasing a lot, I don't want to right in this one first. I'm going to do a sketch just on a scrap piece of paper and get about the size. It doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, that's a really rough sketch, but that's okay. So my quote is confidence is true colors and that's kind of a long quote so we'll see if I can get it to fit so with a heart it is tricky because with the two humps like this you don't want your word going through and then stopping and picking up right there so what you want to do is, I feel like these are too tall, it's probably like that. So either you want all of your letters to come up high and then have this one lower, or you could do something more sideways and start short like that. But my first word is confidence, and that's a long word. So let's see if I can get it to fit through both of them. Nope, because that's my D right there. If my I was right here, then that would probably work. Let's just see if I do it. Confidence is, this is just a really rough sketch. Embracing your true colors. Okay, so then what I sometimes do is use tracing paper and put it over and then do it over and over again until I get the right fit. But this seems to be fitting pretty well just like this. So I'm going to perfect it a little bit and then I will draw in this heart and have to erase it a little bit in this heart as well probably. So as I'm tracing this I'm not getting it, I'm not getting it absolutely perfect and that probably is going to not have a loop. That F, probably don't want to have a loop F because of that part of the heart. And you want to be Placing your letters, think of it like a puzzle. 
so where the this N is coming down so it's lower down here then it's coming up higher so I could bring this in higher to fit same with right here I could bring this D down the A up a little bit and probably the C Gonna have to see how to extend that E, maybe something like that. And then I do like having this uppercase, especially because that's another thing you want to watch for this point in a heart. Let's see if I can get it to fit in here. Gonna shorten that. Maybe even a little bit more. Yes, there we go. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do is bring the G lower because I want to fill that space. Okay, and those are just to fill in more of the space. I'm still not loving that right there. Okay, what if I do... Okay, I could do something like that. Well, maybe not so big. I just don't like when the E ends like going out, but I want it to kind of keep with the curve of the edge of the heart. I guess it doesn't have to go up that high. Okay, hold on. Let's just start over with the true. Because that's fine with the G. Okay, that works. Sometimes you just have to erase a certain spot and start over. And it does feel like there's too much space right here. So I think what I would do gonna add a bigger loop on that O. I think that's it. And actually I am going to do that loop for the F. So then I just took a kneaded eraser and I erased it lightly so you can't even see right here where I lettered but it's there. I just wanted it to be a little bit lighter for when I was doing the watercolor around it. And if you like how I'm doing this rainbow watercolor, I just posted a new Skillshare class, how to do three rainbow watercolor backgrounds using brush pens as watercolor. And you can take it for free if you're signing up for the first time by using my link in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope now you'll be able to letter inside of hearts. And this pen is the Kiritaki Furugo Kochi. Let me know if you try it in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you thought of this super behind the scenes video. And subscribe so you don't miss my next video. I will see you next time.